Next. And here we are at Porter and Chester, Watertown, and today we're going to test an arc fault breaker. Uh, here we have our sub panel, and from the sub panel we have a 20 amp arc fault breaker. It's going to go down the receptacle, and it's going to go to this hot box. This hot box draws about 15 amps, and we have an amp meter to see how many amps we're drawing. And what we're going to simulate is a loose connection at the receptacle causing the arc to see if we can get this to trip. And we're going to try this for several minutes because we have not been able to get the trip so far. Are we going to simulate a series arc fault or a parallel arc fault this in is, this case? In this case, this is going to be a series arc fault. Okay. So here's our simulated loose connection. And we're going to go right to the screw and we're just going to cause a series of sparks over and over and over. Now we're causing a lot of sparking, a lot of arcing, and at some point this should trip the circuit breaker. We'll just keep going faster and make bigger sparks. See the current changing as you're sparking and opening and closing the circuit. We clearly see that it's tied into an arc fault uh, circuit breaker. We're having hundreds of arcs. And yet, no tripping yet. There's no trickery here, guys. This circuit's wired exactly how it's supposed to be wired, so we're putting these to the test. And uh, we're hoping we can, when we put this out on YouTube, we can get some answers as to why this circuit breaker isn't making me feel too safe. And it's not doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So, I can't simulate an arc any better than this that looks any more dangerous than this. If there's any time that we'd want the circuit breaker to trip, it would be right now. So I can smell the wire burning. <laughs> the wire, I'm sure, is getting really hot at this point. Keep doing that. Dan, if you want to hold this up to him, I'm going to get my heat gun, and we're going to see the temperature of that. You can see the receptacle burning. We're going to test the temperature of that 103 degrees. Oops. Now, this is brand new right out of the box. At some point, this circuit breaker should do what it's supposed to do. Now, if I put this on YouTube, I think Square D is going to be quick to call and say that there's uh, we're either we're doing something wrong or their product just doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. Keep in mind, GE, we're going to test you out next. Now, as you know, if this was contained within something that was close to any combustible material, this loose connection with this heat buildup. This would burn. Yeah, this would be a problem. It's I mean, as you can see, this is spiking. We've hit 150 degrees at some point. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yep. Why isn't this circuit breaker tripping? We have no idea, and that's what we're doing this for. We want the answers. Yeah, so I think to, we can stop. Safe to we, say that doesn't work. Safe to say that doesn't work. Circuit breaker still on. Uh, it's all we got for you.